sure this one looks different than all the others do. Black Canyon is right outside the town of Montrose, Colorado. The first official exploration of the Black Canyon was made by Captain John Williams Gunnison in 1853. His expedition was trying to find a route from St. Louis to San Francisco. He said this country was the roughest, most hilly, and most cut up he had ever seen. He was killed by the Ute Indians later that year, and the river was renamed in his honor. The park contains 12 miles of the deepest and most dramatic of the 48-mile-long Black Canyon of the Gunnison River. It's called Black partly because parts of the gorge only receive 33 minutes of sunlight a day. Combined with the dark gray of the rocks, it can really look black. Some canyons in the west are longer and some are deeper, but Black Canyon combines depth, narrowness, and darkness to make this place one of the most unusual we've seen on this trip. We spent two nights here. The river drops an average of 95 feet per mile inside the park, which is over 12 times steeper than the Colorado River running through the Grand Canyon. At Chasm View, the river drops 240 feet per mile, and at one point the canyon is only 40 feet wide. So, so deep, so narrow, really dramatic, and photos can't do it justice. There's the river. Probably the most dramatic point we saw in the park was the painted wall, which is 2,300 feet tall, much higher than the Empire State Building. This is the painted wall, the highest cliff in Colorado, 2,300 feet. With the Gunnison River. Here's more of that striation, but for the most part, Black Canyon is black. Most of the viewpoints are along the flat area at the top of the canyon wall, and there's also a beautiful campground there. We got one of the last sites. While we were there, we met this couple from Colorado who were traveling with a group of bikers. You thought we were traveling light? They travel with only their bikes and little tents to sleep in. They told us about a wonderful drive through the Rockies that we decided to take directly after this visit. The color is starting to come, but our new friends from Colorado said it probably needs another two weeks to be at its peak. The first day we drove and hiked along the canyon rim, and on the second we drove the steep descent into the bottom of the canyon to Crystal Dam, which is part of a system that provides not only recreation, but water and hydroelectric power to the area. Now an 18% grade may not sound like much, but the drive down to the dam was a bit scary. We just came on the steepest road we have ever been on, and we are now going back up. It's, uh, we are still in Black. We're still in Black Canyon, but I think we're in and out of the park. It's an 18 percent grade. We're pretty sure this is steeper than when we went to Grand Canyon. No, no Pikes, uh, Pikes Peak. Peak. 50 years ago. So, yeah. It's more fun coming up than it was going down. It was crazy going down. That's like five miles of 18% grade. But it was the, worth it. I don't think the whole thing changed. There was a dam at the bottom, and we got to look up the canyon from the bottom. So that was cool. Still easier than this is not 18%. Still easier than trying to hike down and back up. 
stop. This is 18% grade. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, crazy, crazy. Oh, look, there's sunshine. <laughs> it's already set down in the canyon. This is our cool campsite. What? At Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. And uh, it's our second night here. Got our own bear proof food container, which we don't need to use because our car is pretty solid. And the ranger said the bears here are not too smart. So we're going to risk it and have salmon patties tonight. All in all, our trip to Black Canyon was one of the most interesting spots that we visited. From the steep canyon walls to the rushing water at the bottom, we were just amazed at God's creation in this corner of Colorado.